Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be filming part two of me trying English food. This is all the stuff that I'm going to be trying. I also have water and paper towel just in case. <laughs> anyway, let's just get onto the video. I don't even know where to start, there's just so many things. The first thing I'm going to try is jelly tots. This is what they look like. They're like little sugary balls. <laughs> Ready? Mm. I don't want to be dramatic, but genuinely, I think these are probably the best sweets I've ever had in my life. These are so good. This is straight up five stars. Amazing! The next thing I'm going to try is a Cadbury Double Decker. It's a little bit melted. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. It looks like it's exploded. I'm sure it still tastes good. All right. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, crunchy. It has like crunchy biscuit. Oh, it's really good. I think I would rate this a 4.5 out of 5. Double decker, great. Sorry, quick water break. The next one I'm going to try is pickled cockles. I am actually dreading this. I can't even open them. Okay, hang on. Let me get my dad to open this. I can't open them. Here. You made it look so easy. Thank you. I'm gonna smell them first. Cloudy. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. Let me. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get a spoon in one second. All right, I have my spoon. Okay, I'm gonna stop being a baby and I'm gonna do it. Oh, I've got one. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay. All right, the flavor's gone. I'm gonna be honest, these are really bad and I don't like them at all. I am gonna rate pickled cockles a 0.5. They just, oh, even like the look of them. The next thing I'm gonna try is a blue ribbon. It looks like just a wafer biscuit with chocolate. This is what they look like. Sorry for the interruption, but I'm editing my video right now and I just discovered this crazy thing. In the packaging, it says blue ribboned. I don't know if you can see that. I swear it's always been blue ribbon. Ribbon as in R-I-B-B-O-N. Even in the video, you can hear me saying blue ribbon. The thing I'm gonna try is a blue ribbon. It I decided to Google it and apparently I'm not the only one that thought this and it's actually a really common Mandela effect. If you don't know what a Mandela effect is, long story short, as Wikipedia describes it, it's a false memory where a person recalls something that did not happen or that something happened differently from the way it happened and a collection of people feel the same thing as well. Please let me know down below if I'm not the only person that thought it was blue ribbon. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for listening. Enjoy. I'm gonna be really picky here. Don't get me wrong, this is really good, but I feel like there needs to be more chocolate to wafer ratio. It kind of reminds me of a Kit Kat, but just with way more wafer and way less chocolate. I'm gonna rate blue ribbons a three out of five. The next thing I'm going to try is Iron Brew. I'm pretty sure this is actually Scottish. It says that it is a sparkling soft drink with a unique blend of mixed fruit flavors. Three, two, one. It's good, I can't complain. I am going to rate Iron Brew a four out of five. The next one I'm gonna try is Hobnobs. I've never had a Hobnob before but I am really excited to try them because I love digestives and I'm pretty sure they're like digestives maybe, I think. This is what they look like. This honestly kind of looks like an Anzac biscuit if you live in Australia. All right, ready? It's like a digestive and an Anzac biscuit had a baby and this is the final product, a hobnob. I definitely prefer digestives more. I think I'm gonna rate hobnobs a four out of five. Good. Next thing I'm gonna try is Angel Delight. I'm really confused. I think I have to make this. So let's go to the kitchen. Oh, I threw that in completely the wrong direction and it's ended up way over there. <laughs> While I make my Angel Delight, I'm also going to try mushy peas. I'm guessing they're peas that are mushy. Fun fact for you, I don't like peas at all. So this is gonna be interesting. I feel like these were probably the worst thing that I'm gonna try in this video. So anything after that is gonna be fine, which is why I'm okay with eating these. Oh my gosh, and okay, and I'm gonna try these sweet onions. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I have my angel delight. Ooh, smells really good. Pour 300 ml of chilled milk in a bowl. Let's get the milk. There's none left. Don't worry, we have a backup. Oops, oh no. Add the Angel Delight. 
and whisk until light and creamy. Ta-da! Leave to thicken five minutes before serving. In the meantime, I'm going to try sweet onion and mushy peas. How do I eat these? It only takes a few minutes to heat me up in a pot on the hob. <gasps> okay, so while we wait for the angel delight, I'm going to try some sweet onions. I'm nervous. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. I have so many mixed emotions right now. These are kind of good. With something else, I genuinely think these would probably actually be really, really nice. I'm gonna rate sweet onions a four out of five. I think they're done. I'm just gonna go for it. The mushy peas are actually really good. I'm going back for thirds right now. I'm so confused. All this food I'm trying is actually turning out to be really nice. <laughs> I'm going to rate mushy peas a 3.5 out of 5. They're actually pretty good. <laughs> now onto the angel delight. This is what it looks like. It's turned into like a little mousse, which is cool. Interesting. I'm going to rate angel delight 5 stars. It's really good. I really like it. Next thing I'm going to try is mini cheddars. I think they're cheese flavored and I love anything cheese, so... I already know that I'm gonna love these. This is what they look like. They're like little crackers. Ready? So good. I'm gonna rate these five stars. The next thing I'm going to try is Rebel. I have no idea what these are, but I'm about to find out. Oh, they look like Maltesers. I'm really confused. I just had three of these and all of them were different textures. One of them was like hollow. The other one had like biscuit in the middle. And then the other one was like pure chocolate. I'm really confused. I swear they also have like a hint of orange. What does it say it is? Milk chocolates with assorted centers. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna rate these a three out of five. Next one, dairy milk chocolate buttons. I love these. I bought these just because I know how much I love them. So they're just like little chocolate round buttons. They're so good. for <laughs> I'm gonna rate Dairy Milk Chocolate Buttons five out of five. They are the bee's knees. They're so good. Next, we have What's It? Really cheesy. Let's do this. Kind of looks like a Cheeto. I failed, that did not work. I regret doing that. <laughs> I remember having these as a kid. My whole entire childhood is flashing before my eyes right now. These are amazing. Five stars. Next thing I'm going to try is chew it. I have no idea what these are, but it says it's a strawberry flavored chew it. I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's do this. Kind of looks like a Starburst. There's still a tiny bit of the paper on it, but I can't get it off, so I'm just gonna eat it. Three, two, one. Amazing, magnificent, marvelous. These are so good. I'm gonna rate these five stars. Walker's nation's favorite roast chicken. This sounds very promising. They smell like chicken. These are really good. I actually think these are probably the most realistic chicken flavored things that I've ever eaten. It just tastes really good and it genuinely tastes like I'm eating chicken. <laughs> They're so good. I am gonna rate Walker's Roast Chicken Crisps five stars. I shall save those for later. The Lack Jacks. Oh, it's licorice. So it's just like a cube of licorice. Is my tongue black? Yes. <laughs> in my 20 years of life, I still can't pinpoint whether or not I actually like licorice or not. I think I'm going to rate these a 3 out of 5. They're good, but they're just not great. The next one I'm going to try is a Rolo. On the picture, it looks like they're chocolate with like gooey stuff in the middle. I'm guessing maybe like caramel or something. Oh, I squashed it. <laughs> Ready? They're good, but they kind of have a hint of cardboard flavor i don't know i i like them but i don't know if i would buy them i'm gonna rate rollos a three out of five monster munch they are pickled onion flavor let's do this oh they smell very oniony oh look that's so cute they're like a claw that's chewy they're chewy and they're really good they're so big, I have them in my mouth. Three of these are as long as my hair. Oh, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> good, I really like them. These are really good. I'm gonna rate these five stars. The next thing I'm gonna try is a club. This is so good. I'm gonna rate this five stars. I have nothing else to say besides that this is 
the best thing I've ever eaten. I can't even talk, it's just so good. The next thing I'm gonna try is knickknack. So this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like it would be cheese flavored. Don't be fooled, it's ribbon saucy flavor. I don't even know what to expect with this. I'm gonna rate these a two. I just don't really like them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to knickknacks, but Monster Munch is the place to be and the place where I will continue to go. Fries Peppermint Cream. I have a feeling this is gonna be like an after eight, which I tried in my last British candy video. This is basically chocolate with peppermint cream in the middle. And it sounds like a weird combination, but it's really good. I'm gonna rate this a four out of five. Bolo! Pretty sure I got the wrong ones of these, but we're just gonna have to make do. So this is a spearmint polo. Hey. <laughs> breaking my teeth. Despite me buying the wrong flavor, spearmint flavor is good. I can appreciate a good polo and I really like them. I'm gonna rate them a 4.5 out of 5. Next thing I'm gonna try is a sherbet fountain. I don't know what to expect with this. It says at the top here, twist to open. <laughs> I don't know if I'm eating this right. I don't... I, I'm definitely doing something wrong. I... All just clumped together. I don't... <laughs> I really don't like that. I'm gonna rate this one. <laughs> the last two things that I have. Bovril Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate. I went into this thinking that this was similar to Marmite, but it's actually a drink. Let's go to the kitchen and make some drinks. So I'm just boiling the kettle. So for the Galaxy Hot Chocolate, it says pour four heaped teaspoons over hot water. And for the Bovril, it says one good teaspoon. That does not look appetizing at all. Ow, it's hot, I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> On a side note though, that's really, really good. I'm gonna rate Galaxy Hot Chocolate five stars. It's great, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Boff real time. Oh, it smells, it smells really bad. <laughs> One star. It tastes like I'm drinking Marmite or Vegemite. It's just, I don't like it. So that is everything. I've eaten everything and I'm gonna give you my final review and thoughts on the things that I ate. I'm gonna give you my least favorites first. I'm gonna do two of each. My least favorites <laughs> were, surprise, surprise, the pickled cockles. I just did not like these at all. They look gross, they smell gross, and they just are gross. So, yes. Not a fan. My second least favorite was Bovril. It literally tastes like you're drinking Vegemite or Marmite. And I don't like either, so I also am not a fan of this. My favorite two things, this was really hard for me to condense down. I think my favorites were jelly tots. I need to be really careful because otherwise the sugar is gonna fall out. It is a yes from me. My next favorite, I don't actually have it with me because I ate it, but I have the packaging is a club, specifically the Orange Club. 10 out of 10, amazing, would recommend. So everybody, that marks the end of this video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again for watching me eat food. It means a lot, you're great. <laughs> if you have any requests of other foods you want me to try, let me know down below. And also if you have any other video requests, also let me know down below, because I'm open to film anything. Unless it's something weird like I don't know, just nothing weird. <laughs> I love you all so much. I shall see you in my next video. If you want to watch my next video, goodbye, ciao, au revoir, namaste, goodbye. Mm.